Juna. Right, I'm the stick. If you having trouble getting to Juna and back, yeah. Um, never been there myself. Um, I have to say, um, I tend to just do these career, and never seem to get far enough into them before before they release a new version. And I always start all over again when there's a new version with a new new fun stuff added. Um, so I've never left Kerbin's. I've left Kerbin's system once popped out to get some science around the sun and pop back in again really quickly and briefly um, so you know more about Duna than than I do so we'll get ourselves back after this rescue and we'll see how much money we got but I think that's gonna be um, about it for this particular episode for this stream So we should be getting a bit of a uh, bit of breaking effects coming up pretty soon. Uh, our perips, this is thirty thousand now. So and falling, I can see it there. So it's falling pretty quick. Our apoapsis is only just into space, so we're coming in to the atmosphere. Um, I try to stream regularly. Um, I do have a young daughter. Just 18 months, um, and I pretty much can only stream while she's asleep. Um, and then I sometimes don't stream, I just record because she uh, sometimes wakes up, and if I'm streaming, and I have to just sort of pause and go and deal with her for a while, isn't the best way to uh, look after an audience, I don't think. So, uh, what I tend to do is is record it. So if you want to see how I got this far, then go and have a look at my YouTube channel. It should be linked below. I'm interested to know whether it actually works or not. Um, but you should be able to click on that link there, and that will take you to my YouTube channel where you can see where I started. Um, this particular mission is probably not going to go on to YouTube because I have done several rescues now already. But I do tend to try and do what? Once a week, maybe twice a week, but not regular times. It's just when it's when it sort of works out to be available. I'm afraid, but do keep an eye on my. Or if you follow me, which I think you have already, um, but if you follow my my Twitter account as well, it puts alerts on there as well. So so do uh, do follow that. So do you watch many other streamers? Interesting to know. I'm sure I've seen you before somewhere. Oh, there's the KS Kerbal Space Station. So we're going to overshoot dramatically. Where are we going to end up? In the water. Ah, not too far away. Excellent. Good. Have I seen you before in someone else's stream, perhaps? Do you follow other KSP um, streamers? So still 2,000 meters per second at 40,000. We should be fine. I always worry about this. Um, this version did bring in a bit more of deadlier re-entry than uh, previous versions. Yeah, Scott Manley is a fantastic streamer of Kerbal Space Program. I, uh, I don't think I've ever seen him live as well. He's uh, based in Los Angeles, I think, so time zones for me, because I'm based in the UK, aren't always the best to catch his streams, but he does put some good stuff on YouTube, and I've, I do watch almost every one of his, uh, well, certainly his Kerbal Space Program videos. I do quite enjoy the uh, little bit of information he gives here and there, <laughs> how much of it is relevant or true. <laughs> I don't know, but it's just entertaining stuff. So, 
if we time walk now, we might lose a little bit of this uh, breaking effect. So, uh, again, I don't know how true that is, but I've seen a few other YouTubers and streamers say it, and I've done it before where I've I've time walked through the section and not been able to slow down in time, reverted back to a save, and just didn't time walk. It was well within slowing down time, so I don't know. So, unfortunately, it's a for safety, this is what I do at the moment. So, Shazon Kerman, Shinzon, Shonzon, however you pronounce your name, we're going to get you back quite safely. You're going to have a little bit of a uh, dunk in the water, and we'll come and collect you. Um, we're. Uh, Uh, it's only done quite nicely now. We should, we're still 20,000 meters up, so we're, we're coming in quite shallow, so that's why it seems to be taking so long. But that's fine. Yeah, gotta be careful with the, with the time warping. Looking forward to Unity 5 whenever they release the Kerbal Space Program. We're using that 64 bit and uh, Maybe stuff like that will be safer, but who knows? Right, coming in nicely. Kerbal Space Center is over there. They're setting the ships and everything. We'll be fine. Still 11,000 meters up. Still too high to release these chutes. Still not got rogue chutes yet. Haven't been able to unlock those yet. 8,000 meters up. Still not safe to release the chutes yet. Now safe to release the chutes, we're about to 50 meters per second. 5,000 meters up. 4,000. Nicely slowing down now. The more comfortable a ride this will be as we go down. So about 2,000 meters up. Uh, now we'll do. There we go. All three chutes deployed. Excellent, um, I'm Stig. Thank you for following me on YouTube as well. Um, do feel free to comment on YouTube or anything. Um, give me some feedback uh, both on the curbling and on the Let's Play style because I'm trying to use this as a method to get better at public speaking. I really have improved my, my public speaking uh, um, um, skills, if you like. Um, I sort of feel much more confident talking in meetings and things like that at work and uh, I attribute a lot of that to speaking to you guys here on live streams and YouTube sort of commenting on what I'm saying and doing and stuff so do give me some feedback on 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 everything and tell me what you're enjoying and what you're not enjoying and uh, and uh, yeah I'll get better at this with your help so yeah so we're coming in 3.8 meters per second, really, really slow now. We're going to risk a bit more time warp just for everyone's sanity. And 200 meters up. One hundred meters. 40 meters up, we're coming out of time warp just for the uh, the splashdown. Don't think we've got any possibilities of any other sciences whatsoever. Nope. See, science alert will tell you here for uh, the different things available for show experiments available on this vessel at the different biomes and everything like that to go. So I've got lots of science to get still. This one is just for what's available right now and we've done everything we can. Wow that is sitting deep. That is deeper than I expected. Anyway, doesn't matter. We can't do any more science. We will recover that vessel. And because we got it back home safe, he's got a few ribbons. This is the final frontier. May may not mention that. Final Frontier is a kind of keeps track of their what they've done. 
they're on a mission and gives them these awards which is pretty cool it's a bit of fun parts we got 2500 back and we've got a level one guy here let's see that's the astronaut complex he is a scientist which is always good because uh, we now got one two three four scientists because uh, when you start doing things like science labs and things like that you need to put a few scientists in those labs so it's good to have some level one guys already and this tells you what they've done so he's orbited around Kerbin he has orbited around Kerbin and done a um, fly by the moon so that's why he's got a bit more XP towards his level two Valentina has just done an orbit around Kerbin as has pretty much everyone else here orbit around the moon orbit around Kerbin so if yeah, Farid he did I oh, did an orbit around the moon rather than just a, a flyby in the moon so we do need to head off that way soon for a bit more XP for these guys so as I said as well if you haven't already then do um, follow me on this channel follow me on my YouTube channel as well with the link below which I believe works thank you I am the stick 1969 for testing that out for me um, let's see what other Plant a flag on Minmus. Science data from around Minmus. Got to take that because that is free and good money. Um, plant a flag on Minmus. So for the first time, they've actually now given us a. Uh, oh, cheers! Thank you, stick. Um, it does actually now give us um, a mission to actually put us to land on on one of these moons. Um, so I'm going to grab that one. Gives us a good advance as well. So we're now up to 300,000, which is excellent. Because we've got a... Um, oh, let's just get rid of the debris. Okay. Because we've got a mission to get some data from around Minmus. Minmus Sat 1. We will fly that mission. So we had a mission to come out here and get it. So we will log that. Oh, that's, that's where we got him home. We got 47,000 for getting him home, which is good. We'll review that data and we will transmit that data. Hopefully, don't we'll run out of electrical charge. As soon as that data is gone, we've now completed that contract for another 44,000. Is that cheating? I don't know. Yeah, we are running version 1.05, is it? Yes. Yes, 1.05 Kerbal Space Program. So that's completed another contract. Do they give us surface outpost on Juno? Can't do that one. Craziness. Test the mainsail liquid engine in flight over Kerbin. 12,000 to 18,000 meters, a speed of 100 to 280 meters per second. That is probably doable. Have I got the mainsail yet? I think I have. Skipper, I don't have the mainsail yet. Mainsail. This is a way to get tech before you're allowed the tech. So if I test the mainsail, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've now got access to the mainsail. Engines. Mainsail. No, that's good because now I can bolt that onto some big fuel tanks and get that up to my space station, which I've been struggling to get. Um, the amount of fuel I need up there is mainly the docking that I'm struggling with, though. Not very good at docking. 
but that's definitely gives me another opportunity to be able to do that but as I said I'm gonna have to leave it now um, so thank you very much indeed for um, for joining in um, for the guys that come and and followed that's brilliant and the, and especially the guys that actually talk in the chat um, I am the stigma 969 and mr. Naughty thank you very very much indeed it makes such a difference to play these single player games with people it makes it so much more fun um, unfortunately this one's not going to make it to YouTube because there just there isn't enough new content to bother people with there's already repetition on my series so far um, but future times that I do uh, do live streams will get up onto the um, onto the um, onto the YouTube channel so watch out for yourselves if you come and watch me there and come and join in with the fun so thank you very much indeed for watching and I will see you next time so thanks so much and goodbye thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it then please consider giving me a like if you haven't already please subscribe to hear about when I do support videos in the meantime, if you want to click on one of the other videos that I've done on uh, on a different game, then uh, these are my latest ones, please go ahead. Or if you click on the next video in this series, that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if I've done it and uploaded it. Thanks for watching.